Welcome to Vogel Timeline, our quarterly news report keeping you up to date on the latest happenings here at Georgia Power's Vogel 3 and 4 site near Augusta, Georgia. As 2015 came to a close, the pace of work here at this site was as busy as ever. Currently, more than 5,500 workers here at Vogel 3 and 4 are working throughout the site in various capacities, putting in more than 12 million hours on the job. You can understand why building the first new nuclear in 30 years is such a huge undertaking. Much has changed in the past year, and here with a recap of those accomplishments is Buzz Miller, Executive Vice President Nuclear Development for Georgia Power. As we enter the new year, I would like to recap for you some of the great accomplishments we made in 2015. At the Vogel 3-4 site, we see enormous changes in the physical structures of the site. Uh, it's very obvious the progress that is being made, and we see it on all fronts. But as we always remember, our main focus here is on the safety of the people and on the quality of the construction. And as far as the safety of the people, we have worked closely, our team at Southern Company, working with the contractors to ensure that people that come to work on this site go home safely just like they arrived. Uh, we have seen great improvement in the safety record here at the site this year. We're happy with that. That's an area that we will continue to strive as our motto in Southern Company is target zero when it relates to personnel safety. Next to personnel safety is nuclear safety and the quality of construction that goes on here. No matter what pressures there are, cost and schedule, our focus is always on doing it right. We are building a facility that will last 60 and 80 and even more years into the future. And we can help ensure that by making sure that we meet and exceed all NRC requirements in the greatest way we can. Our communication with the NRC is consistent, it's constant, and we are always working to make sure that what occurs at this site is done properly and is safe for the community and will be safe, reliable power for the citizens of Georgia for decades to come. The crafts of the building and trades have done a tremendous job throughout the year. We continue to look forward to their involvement in this project. We expect ramping up in 2016 as activities increase here at the site. So 2016 will be a big year. In 2015, we saw great progress in the construction of Unit 3. Uh, we saw a lot of activity in the Unit 3 nuclear island. The highlight there was setting CA01 module, which was greater than 1,100 tons. And that was a set, that module, with flawless execution, safely. In support of construction, we have been working on materials and equipment that has been in fabrication for, in some cases, up to seven years on this project. And during 2015, we can now say we have received all four steam generators for the two units that were fabricated in Korea. We've received both reactor vessels for the units. We've received pressurizer for Unit 3. We've seen the majority of components arrive for Units 3 and 4 turbine and generator. So those are activities that our team has been working on since the beginning of this project. On the Unit 4 side, we've also seen tremendous progress in construction. Just at the end of 2015, the containment vessel Ring 1, weighing 950 tons, was set into place, demonstrating yet again how this team at the site can execute activities flawlessly and with attention to safety, because this is a massive project and we always have to remember the safety of each of these activities. Additionally, in Unit 4, we've seen other great progress in the nuclear island. And one important factor is, is our team and the contractor, we're learning lessons from Unit 3 about the sequencing and efficiency of construction. We're applying those lessons in Unit 4. So in a lot of cases, the sequence of activities differs a little bit from Unit 4 the way we did it in Unit 3. And we will continue to learn because that is, that in this industry, that's very important. And in construction of this magnitude, we have to keep learning lessons and applying those lessons to do this as efficiently as possible. The Unit 4 turbine building is going skyward. Likewise, the turbine parts for Unit 4 are here. In 2016, we'll see a lot of momentum there. 
the Unit 4 cooling tower is going up. It is now, where Unit 3 is topped out at greater than 600 feet, the Unit 4 cooling tower is now over 300 feet and will top out at 600 feet this year. So it's a very exciting time on the construction front for Vogel Units 3 and 4. At the same time, we have to get ready to operate these units. That is its own very complex process. But we have had team in place for years now. Training is underway. Writing programs, preparing procedures is well underway so that when we load fuel in units three and four, we will have an operations team ready to take over these units and operate them at the high degree of safety and excellence that we operate the rest of our fleet. And beyond construction and getting ready to run, our relationship with our State Public Service Commission and our interaction with them remains strong. We remain committed to a very open, transparent process of sharing information with our regulator. Uh, to date, we have submitted greater than $3 billion in expenditures for Georgia Power at this site. All of those expenditures have been approved by 5-0 votes at our Public Service Commission. So we appreciate that relationship, and that healthy relationship will help us to finish this project safely and efficiently on behalf of our customers. As we move into 2016, we're going to see some differences at the site. Uh, in order to help the efficiency of the project, we were able to resolve certain commercial issues with our contractors. And going into 2016, we will have a new contractor floor working with Westinghouse to help deliver these units for Georgia Power and our customers. Our team will continue to work closely with them and we expect to have great efficiency gains and great improvements as we continue on our path toward loading fuel in 2018 for Unit 3 and 2019 for Unit 4. So we're proud of our employees at this site. We're proud of our safety record. We're proud of our compliance with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and we're very proud of the construction that's ongoing behind us. As our chairman Tom Fanning says over and over, Vogel 3 and 4 will prove to be one of the most successful, if not the most successful mega projects in United States history. Our team here is dedicated to that, they are committed to that, and we will stay focused on delivering this project for our customers and the citizens of Georgia. And also we recognize the standing that this project has for impact of the nuclear industry in the United States and around the world. And we will deliver this project and it is something that we remain focused on every day. Thank you. Thanks Buzz. As you just heard, 2015 was a very busy year. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us on this look back at 2015. We look forward to bringing you the latest news this year as we watch history unfold here at Vogel 3 and 4. From all of us and the Vogel 3 and 4 family, we wish you a very happy and healthy new year. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon for more great stories here on the Vogel Timeline Report.